So now let's see how we can work around with file name, saving and accessing projects inside of Autodesk Tinkercad. So here you can see that I'm already logged in into my Tinkercad account and I'm on my dashboard. And here you can see that I got three projects. And if I want to access one of these projects, all I need to do is uh, click on one of these. So let's say, for example, if I were to click on it, then it opens up a preview of that particular project, as you can see. Uh, so I can go it, go in 3D view and then I can navigate around as well. So you can see that I can see a view, 3D view of my project. But here you cannot edit it. So in order to edit this, you need to click on Tinker This. And then what happens is that it opens up your project in a new uh, project file. So depending on your internet connection speed, this might take some time to load up and that is quite normal. So once it loads up, uh, you will be able to edit this out. So here you can see that the project has been loaded. And if I were to go around and then add in some elements right here, like this box, like the cylinder, uh, what I can do is I can save this. So uh, the thing about Tinkercad is you do not need to manually save anything. So everything is automatically saved out. And if I were to bring in something like a spear, it says saving and all changes saved. So now in order to go back and access other projects, you can click on Tinkercad. And then what happens is that it says, says saving your work. And then it'll go back to the main page after that is complete. So you can see that now I'm on my home page and it's loading the projects and here you can see that uh, the content that I added in is here. You can also go over here and then see different options. Let's say, for example, if I were to click on option, you can see the properties of this. So here you can see that there's the design name. I'm just going to say to the tube, uh, like saving lesson, just like this. So if I were to click on saving lesson, hit save changes, then there you go. The file name gets changed just like that. You can also go around right there so and click on Tinker This. And then if you want to change the file name while you're here, you can go up onto the top and say this is file name right here. And then that's how you change the project name from within the project itself as well. So if I were to click on Tinkercad, then it's saving the work as you can see. And then what will happen is that it saves the work and goes back to the home page. And other options you have to manage out the file is by going on to this setting menu right here. You have an option to uh, duplicate this as you can see. So if I were to click on duplicate, then what happens is that it creates a duplicate of that project and then it loads that up onto the editor. So it says now copy of Tutitube project three. So if I were to go around and press, uh, let's say for example, if I were to go around, delete this. So let me just go around right here and okay, once again, I'm just going to delete the copy off and let's say if I want to see uh, project six or something, I can go around and make the changes right here. So now what happens is that you can go around, pull this around, and then it has created another version of the same project right here. So you're not working on the original file, but you're working with the copy. So if I were to go on to Tinkercad right here, it says saving your work. And then what happens is that it's a save. So you can see that there's Tutitube 6. So you can go around right here and if you want to move the project uh, onto a particular place, then you can use the move as well. So you can create more option right here, manage it out in other ways as well. So if I were to click on Tinker This directly, then it directly opens up the editor right here. So you can see that it says Tinker This. And I'm going to go back right here onto the home page. Is saving the work so, uh, there's nothing really to save actually but if i want to delete the work then i can click on this and click on delete and then it asks me if i really want to delete this because this might be an accident so if i were to press delete now then what happens is that it deletes the project and that is how you can work around with the file name the saving the deleting and accessing of projects inside of tinkercad so i hope you guys learned something as always and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.